Catch up and get ahead with The Edge for the week of February 1st. San Antonio Metro Health has received confirmation from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention of the first case of Zika virus in Bear County. The University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio urges the public, especially pregnant women, to be aware of the virus, which is transmitted primarily through mosquito bites and is associated with birth defects. Pregnant women traveling to countries with reported Zika virus, including much of South America, Central America, and Mexico, should avoid contact with mosquitoes and notify their obstetrician of their travel history. Go to Nowcast SA for more information. About 811,000 of San Antonio's 1.2 million residents live in Texas Senate District 26, the seat once held by Leticia Vandepute and now occupied by Jose Menendez. Menendez is being challenged in the Democratic primary by the current Texas House Representative of District 116, Trey Martinez Fisher. No Republicans are running for the seat. Thanks to AARP Texas, you can replay video of the recent debate between the candidates and make an informed choice when you vote in the March 1st primary election. Okay, and with that, we have come to our final question. Who? Is, uh, it's from Ray Gonzalez in the audience, and Ray is asking, either of you understand the concept of the 11th political commandment, which is Ronald Reagan's mantra, thou shalt not speak evil of fellow Republicans, in this case, Democrats. I'm sorry, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Nearly everyone is familiar with Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, but fewer know about his final and unfinished crusade. In 1968, King was passionately promoting an economic bill of rights, also known as the Poor People's Campaign. During San Antonio's Dream Week 2016, the Texas Association of African American Chambers of Commerce presented a panel discussion featuring leaders from across the state. Come to nowcastsa.com and replay exclusive video and join the conversation. Again, the speech that we showed you was a speech in which happened in uh, 1968, the year of his assassination. And that's why you always have to, you know, go back to what Mr. O'Neill said, you have to pause and, 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 and really think about uh, why was he assassinated? You know, was it just his, uh, his protest of Vietnam? Uh, no, it was, it was, it was. Thanks for watching The Edge. See you next time.